turn on your notification bell you will still get those information you are looking for thank you the chairman was abducted before the other two the gunman also burnt his country home at Imoko community now on this area of the local government if we don't know in the Imoko I think now a reliable source confirmed the story he said look the soul administrator of Ida Tonot was kidnapped together with two others after burning his house at the Imoko community at Inawandijog. They shot him on his leg before taking him away. Of course, this is coming less than a week after the home of the spokesperson of coalition of United Political Parties, Iken Gumu Gochinere, was attacked at Akoko community in Ida Tonot, with three persons killed and about 33 vehicles raised. This is what is happening now. Ida Tonot is on fire it's a volatile area now you know what we are talking about they said yes we're going to ask ourselves where this is yes and is there are they causing problem eastern security network so someone will be in somewhere in kutangora you know and we said yes sir someone will be in do say you know Tafanchan, I will be far away in you know northern Nigeria, we say. Yes, sir. Shendam, yes, sir. Where is the where is this yes sir you're talking about? Look at what politicians are doing. Look at what politicians are doing. The unrest. Look at what they're doing. And then in Hitato not. This is you know Hitato a peaceful local government or area. You have Hidato, you have South and you have not. This Idato has been very peaceful and quiet. You see? So, it's a sleeping uh, local government area. So only in Akokwa that you will see some businesses, you know, activities, heating up. Aside, other communities are very, you know, quiet and um, sleeping town, a sleepy town, sleeping towns. So, but look at what politicians are doing. They're heating up the polity on daily basis because they want to acquire political power. This Iken Gum Imo Ogochinere, who is running for Edato North and South Federal constituency, and his governor, the governor of his state, also them, they are the ones causing this trouble, causing the death of innocent persons. They will go and eat their money, and they will not allow people to have peace. If people have water to drink, Allow them to drink this water in peace, not in pieces. Only water that you are, that they have, they can have, they can have access to. If they have access to water at all, water is expensive now. Those who have stream, stream that is still drinkable, that is they can manage. Allow them because there's no money to buy water. Allow them to go and uh, fetch that water and drink in peace. But this political idea banish. They won't allow them. They will go and work with Putano, who is doing that in the bush. Whereas they are the one doing it in the bush. Because they went to the bush, they will do it. This one is clear. It's very clear. Politicians causing com commotion, imbroglio, confusion everywhere, killings. They will say IPOB. They will say there is ESN. Where is ESN now? This is clear. We know what's happening there. We know what's happening there. Either or not. It's a clear case of political intolerance. That is it. The APC and the PDP are fighting dirty in this local government because of some persons and interests. This is Ikenga, Imo Ugochine. You know, himself is a PDP man. It's very loyal to the governor, former governor of Imo State, who is from Bisha. The Emeka Hedua. And he's projecting his interest. Because we're not talking about only for the federal constituency. Hope Zerima is fighting him not just because of the federal constituency, because the last time Hope Zerima, Hope Zerima spoke on the issue, talking about the invasion of his home, this the home of Ikengu Mogochinia, wherein Three persons were killed, including his uncle. Almost as something vehicles born to ashes. The governor denied it in a press statement that oh he has no business with the King Gochin. After all, he's not contesting the House of Representative member or House of 
representative seat of either the North and, further, and the South Federal Constituency. And therefore, so why calling him, why mentioning his name in that kind of issue? He's not contesting election with that man. He's a governor of the state. But where they're having conflict is this, this I'm talking about. The issue of the governor of Imo State who wants to come back and the former governor of Imo State, Emeka Yodia, who wants to also, you know, you know, come and, re and reclaim his mandate, you know? And that is what is happening. That's why they are brewing trouble in that location because of the stance of Hugo Chinye, because of his attachment to Emeka Yodia. And so the governor of Imo State want to cut him to size. And we are witnessing carnage, bloodbath, killings, insecurity, consternation, and anxiety. This is uncalled for. This is uncalled for. When we say, look, look at what these politicians are doing, look at what policies is causing in our zone, they will be saying it's agitation. Is agitation causing this one? So it is a very terrible situation. This, this local government now is a volatile place. You don't sleep there with two eyes closed. We are worried about it. We want people to have peace. And as much as the people of the south, the southeastern zone or the eastern region, we are advocating for a referendum to exit from the contraption. We want our people to have peace of mind. We want them to have peace of mind because what the IPOB is doing is not so cause confusion or violence. This is agitation without violence. Civilized people are doing it. So politicians should jettison uh, this you know, act of, if they cause trouble, they cause violence, they kill and destroy people, lives and property. They will say, yes sir, agitators. They should refrain from that. What we're telling the world to understand is that the crisis, the problems, the pandemonium anxiety, and the consternation all happening in the southeast or eastern region, they are being caused by politicians. 98% of them, 98, you can give 2% maybe to normal happenstance. The rest are politicians doing it. It's obvious. That is it. Politicians are doing it. Government are creating monsters.